Over the past 15 years, the Old Church Theatre in rural Trenton, Ontario has become a musical hub for performers from all over. How did this little church built in 1876 become such a popular place for audiences and performers alike? You could say it all began with a letter. Dear Mr. Bonnesteel, As a prominent and influential member of the Johnstown community, you are no doubt witnessing with some disappointment the slow demise of the old church building at the top of the hill, mere steps from your own residence. I represent the Women's Institute, and we are the owner of that property. I am writing to you today in the hopes that you might consider purchasing the building. Frankly, the board members are unable to think of anyone more suitable to hopefully rescue the former Johnstown Church before it's too late. Well, the board could not have chosen a better candidate. CBC broadcaster and Man Alive host Roy Bonestiel was not only a close neighbor to the building, he attended church there from time to time as a boy, growing up in this farming community. Quite possibly, they knew him well enough to know he was too much of a romantic to say no. The old church theater building has been standing here in Hastings County since 1876. Almost 100 years later, it would forever close its doors as a church and be left abandoned. I thought it was a shame that this old piece of historic architecture would be left to the forces of the elements. So I bought and restored it. It was a painstaking process with many frustrations and rewards. One of my favorite moments was when we tore down the two false ceilings to reveal the original 18-foot high coffered one. We didn't know it at the time, but this building's most impressive architectural feature would be the key to its future and a filmmaker's paradise. The high ceilings make for unparalleled acoustics. And in 2006, when the next generation of the Bonestiel family bought the church building, the fine-tuning began. Roy's daughter, Leslie Bonestiel, shared her dad's vision of the old church being revived as a community gathering place. But she and her husband, Brian, were also intent on making it a performance space for musical concerts which were out of the ordinary and certainly off the beaten track in this part of the beautiful Bay of Quinty region. Yes, and you always put on your good face. You never ask for help, nothing for yourself. Local playwrights have used this space to present their new material under the banner of the annual Sharpen the Axe One Act Play Festival, developed by great supporters of the old church, along with Leslie, and sometimes reluctant actor, Brian. Authors reading and storytelling run in the family, and as the home of the Roy Bonestiel studio, some fun videos are filmed here, such as The View From Here and The Beer From Here, as well as music videos for local bands who need just this certain kind of environment. Albert Mooney says he loves her and all the boys are fighting for her. They knock at the 
door they ring the bell saying oh my true love are you well out she comes as white as snow rings on her fingers bells on her toes now the moon he says she'd die if she doesn't get the fella with the robe and i tell my ma when i get home that the boys won't leave the girls alone pull my hair and stole my comb but that's all right till i get home she's handsome she is pretty she's the bella bell fastity she's a court to one two three please won't you tell me who is she today musicians from as far away as new zealand japan australia the uk the united states and coast to coast in canada perform under the 18-foot-high ceiling, originally built for the community choir. Of course, none of this would be possible without top-notch artists and, just as importantly, top-notch audiences. The old church has a dedicated following of local patrons who come from all over to enjoy the many and varied offerings in this gem of a performance space. The old church theater has become a unique space, not only in the community, but according to many who played there, a unique space in the country. Well, if you just look around the room, uh, it's, it's got a lot of character. And uh, as a singer-songwriter, I'm always seeking places that have some of the characters in the songs that I write. And so when I get to play in a church like this, an old church like this, literally an old church, um, there's something about a room like this uh, that it has a frequency that you just don't find in a, in a club in a downtown urban city. And uh, the people as well, you know, when you come a little bit off the grid, just a tiny bit off the grid sometimes, you can, you can throw a stone and hit a city. But uh, the people are different, it's warmer, and uh, it's community. And there's something really appealing about that for somebody like me. I'm so tired, tired of this game. The comfortable and intimate living room style setting of the church is created quite intentionally for performers and audiences alike. In this unique space, the artist feels right at home and patrons are able to enjoy the shows with their favorite libation from a well-stocked bar. Players enjoy sharing stories and anecdotes with guests and will often mingle with the guests during breaks and after the show. This engagement gives everyone a feeling of participating in the magic of the evening. If you're with your significant other, please put up your hand. Now, please put up your hand if you're the better looking of the two of you. There's some awkwardness there. I don't worry about Tessa. Tessa thinks I'm grand. But one of us is visibly the lesser. Prominently displayed in the old church theater is a name quilt that was donated by a local antique dealer. It's a wonderful piece of history and an example of how ours and many other communities in Canada contributed to the World War I effort. Many of the family names shown still live in the community more than 100 years later. Look closely and you might find names you recognize. Stitched into the center is the date it was made, one year before the first pandemic, 
The quilt reminds us all that social calamities which befall society come and go, even though, in the thick of it, they seem to last forever. That pandemic was right on the heels of World War I. The old church and its community got through that one and is getting through this second one as well. So we'll to my pleasure. The history of this old building has taught lessons in adaptation. Everything from art exhibits to beer tastings, community gatherings to opera, beer yoga to weddings, and so much more happens at the old church. When COVID-19 hit in 2020, Leslie and Brian quickly built a new outdoor stage and converted all of their musical and theater programming to the outdoors, a safe alternative to being inside. Dramatic play readings and performances undertaken on the outdoor stage took advantage of an extended performance space and made for interesting entrances and exits. Patrons and artists alike attended outdoor events in record numbers, all socially distanced, proving that success was possible even in times of adversity. Wood-fired pizza helped enormously. Seventeen miles of old back road I got George Jones bumping at the radio And I'm hoping I don't see your lights Man, I'm stuck 165, I'm blowing through stop signs Girl, you know there's only one thing on my mind That small town Friday night the annual Christmas Carol reading, a tradition started with Roy in 2005, took on a slightly more cautious mood for the 2020 version. After nine months of COVID restrictions, including a couple of complete shutdowns, the venue hosted a smaller but no less enthusiastic audience, well-versed in social distancing and mask requirements. Guided by that old adage, the show must go on, it did indeed go on and was even recorded for an online audience. The old church is ready for anything, but guests and artists will be grateful when COVID-19 is finally history. How could it be that a century and a half old country church could become a mecca for performers from, well, all over the world? Certainly churches such as this one began as a center for worship. But churches were always more than that. They were social places as well, and the old church theater has become such a place. A hub for live entertainment now and for years to come. Roll on out of town And you leave the lights behind Google Maps can't tell you What you're about to find You gotta listen for the music Might be a tune you know Glory, glory, hallelujah Found the old church 
church down the road Took two generations to save the crumbling stone Throwing us a lifeline so we don't have to swim alone I'll come and tell your story It's music to my ears While Leslie fires up the wood stove And Brian chills the beers Now look out across the field there's a dream sky all around The shadow of a steeple growing long Now kick back Drink in this treasure that you found While a guitar man strums another song How the Bar keeps got a tale to tell that makes his lady smile. Good friends you haven't met yet, well, we'll be here for a while. So when another our day passes and your sky's growing cold, come share the sundown with us at the old church down the road. Oh, you can thank me later at the old church down.